My name is Peter Stamberg. I'm an architect and I live in New York City. Color can do a lot to enliven an otherwise unremarkable space. It can also do a lot to enliven a wonderful space. A few years ago, we were asked to redesign two hotels, both of which were considered distressed properties, both of which were considered cursed, both of which had been through several owners and were considered dreary and not worth paying attention to. We used color selectively on surfaces to bring the buildings to life, to point out the planes on the building and to show really how lively the building was and what a wonderful environment it could be. We, we choose paint colors differently for different projects. The most frequent method is by referring to a painting. And the artist whose work we refer to most is Henri Matisse. So often for projects, we'll look at a Matisse painting and we'll pull the colors from that. In the case of the hotels, we decided to take the colors from nature and from the environment that the hotels were in. And the color was taken from the local, the indigenous wildflowers specific to the areas that each hotel was in. We've designed a lot of homes for art collectors. Uh, we've also designed galleries and done museum spaces. And the general theory of art collectors is that if you have art to show, and particularly if it's varied art, you must hang it on white walls. Museums now are mostly white walls, museums, galleries are mostly white walled. But several years ago, we were speaking with our friend David Hockney about hanging art on colored walls as we were visiting an exhibition of his at LA County Museum, which had highly colored walls. And he said, you know, love, if you hang a piece of framed art on a white wall, the first thing you look at is the frame. If you hang a piece of art on a, frame, on a colored wall, the first thing you see is the art. And it's true. Modern design, to me, is all about optimism. It's all about the future having the possibility to be better than the past.